Reports last night said Pakistan had reached an agreement with rebellious East Pakistan, ending the political crisis there. Well, today, the leader of East Pakistan flatly denied reaching any agreement in his conversations with President Yahya Khan, so East Pakistan still seems on the road to splitting away into a separate nation. We have a report from Bill McLaughlin in Dhaka, East Pakistan. There are several anti-West Pakistan demonstrations like this one every day in Dhaka, the eastern capital. The threat is always the same. Independence, a new nation to be called Bangladesh. Black flags wave throughout Dhaka in mourning for demonstrators killed by the West Pakistan-controlled army. The hatred runs deep here. Pakistan was created 24 years ago when British India split violently into two nations, predominantly Hindu India and Muslim Pakistan. The government was established in the West and there flowed the foreign aid and investment. The East marked time and everything but population. There are now 70 million East Pakistanis, 1,300 per square mile, and on the average, they each earn about a dollar and 10 cents per week. And all along, they have been dominated by West Pakistani leaders. Now, simply, they want out. The leader of East Pakistan and the man who best expresses his people's case is the 50-year-old Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. He says he wants an end to what he calls West Pakistan's tyranny. When our people are all united, the 70 million people, no force can suppress them. The victory is ours because we are fighting for a just cause. Feeling is running so high that West Pakistani leader Ali Bhutto had to be brought to his Dhaka hotel under heavy guard. He came here for talks that some observers believe may work out a compromise solution, giving enough to East Pakistan to avoid secession. If all else fails, West Pakistan has the army it controls and is continuing to reinforce it. An East Pakistani declaration of independence would almost certainly mean a bloodbath. Bill McLaughlin, CBS News, Dhaka, East Pakistan.